Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we have literally just got back from doing our weekly food shop. We went to Aldi this week, um, and I know I did kind of like a food shop haul not that long ago, um, but we have switched going to Aldi, and I think the last one I did was Tesco. I can't remember. Anyway, so I thought I would really quickly kind of run you through some of the healthier options, different food that we're kind of eating at the moment. Um, but also I've had lots of questions about what I'm doing, like health and fitness wise, how I'm getting on. So I did mention this before, I am currently working to a program set by a coach. So that's a um, fitness and like nutrition one. I'm also gonna kind of give you, I thought it'd be good to maybe give you an update how I'm getting on. I'm four weeks into this program, which is an eight week program. Um, so I'm gonna give you like a little bit of, of a physique update, kind of, I don't know, kind of that vibe, let you know how I'm getting on, what changes I'm seeing, that kind of side of things. Um, yeah, and what's really working for me at the moment. But first I'm just gonna talk you through all of the food that we got. Okay, so there's a lot of mess in the background. I'm blaming Steve, but Right, so before I have told you guys that I don't really eat meat, um, this new program that I'm on, um, I, I've said this before in case you guys haven't seen or know what I'm on about, um, I'm tracking my macros, so I have a set amount of calories I hit on a training day, a set amount that I hit on a um, rest day, and then obviously, um, yeah, trying to hit my protein, carb, fats, all of that lovely stuff. And because I hadn't really been eating meat, um, I'm not gonna lie, I have really struggled getting my protein in. That's the one thing that it's been a struggle. And with a lot of um, vegetarian substitutes, they're not that high in protein, but then they're, they make up for it in like carbs and stuff like that. So I have really struggled with that. I'm just being completely honest with you guys. The reason um, I did, I went veggie for January last year um, and found it really easy to do and want to just keep it up for as long as possible. Um, I introduced fish back because I felt like I did need it, I needed something. Um, and I still want to eat less meat but I am slowly reintroducing a little bit more meat into my diet just to help me out a little bit um, because I'm just struggling with it to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I've got a few meat bits as well. So I'm gonna run through this super quick. We got some fish cakes. By the way, I went to Aldi. It is so much cheaper, honestly. Hands down, we have so, so much money going to Aldi. So here's a couple of the kind of meat bits that we've got. So we got some of these. Um, okay, this is so typical. I asked Steve to pick up fish cakes. If I were picking up fish cakes, I would just go for like, a normal kind of fish cake and he's gone for like a rich and creamy like melt in the middle kind of fish cake which when you're trying to be really really good um and eat healthy it's not the best oh having said that they're not too bad but there's only 11 grams of protein in them so this is what i mean like the amount of, i i'm just gonna put it out there i'm trying to eat 180 grams of protein a day which is a lot and this is only 11 <laughs> So, I mean, you can imagine how difficult that makes things when this is meant to be a main kind of meal and it's only got 11 grams of protein. So, shame on Steve for picking that up. Um, he was tracking his macros, but he's decided not to anymore, which is absolutely fine, but it makes things like this kind of difficult. Um, we do eat a lot of fish, so we got, we normally get smoked bassa. Steve's picked up smoked haddock. Literally just noticing this now, he has not done well here. Um, we were food shopping together, by the way, but I said, can you go pick up this? And he's picked up the wrong stuff. So we normally have smoked bassa, but had it, doesn't really matter that much. We got some salmon fillets. We love having salmon. Um, these are actually Steve's. I'm gonna run through mainly stuff that I have because Steve just kind of like, I don't know, beats to his own drum. But I did think these were really good. They do these, which are the 75% less fat lean bacon medallions. So even if you're just trying to make little kind of cutbacks, um, yeah, it's just a nice kind of alternative to have. Um, I've been craving steaks. I like. I used to be the biggest meat eater ever. 
um, and steak was one thing that I absolutely adored and I've not had steak for well about a year and a half now so we treated ourselves to some steaks these don't look the best to be honest um, that's one thing about Aldi and just supermarkets in general it's not really the best quality meat um, we were thinking about picking up some chicken but if, personally I'd rather get it from the butchers or from somewhere like Muscle Food because it's far better quality and they don't pump it full of water that's just my kind of opinion on it each to their own um, but we've got some bits that would help us for now I also picked up some of these these are the skinny pork sausages less than 3% fat so just a leaner version of a normal sausage 10 grams of protein per sausage and just some like honey roasted ham I mean again it's just like processed crap it's not the kind of ham I would usually pick up but we were just trying to get in in and out really really quick um but yeah normally go for more of like a honey roast kind of ham vibe um getting sort of like sliced ham chicken things like that are obviously really really great just get in protein really quickly so those are just a couple of things that I'm trying to help boost my protein intake but we've got some of these as well we've got a couple of boxes of these these are Aldi's own um, plant menu no beef burgers and in each of these burgers it's 19 grams of cut of protein so for a veggie substitute that's really not bad at all and I do really really like those and then we also got some of these which are they're from the frozen section they're the lightly dusted um, are they lightly dusted? It doesn't say they are, but anyway, um, they're the kind of like salt and pepper bassa fillets and they've got like a little um, kind of breaded coating on them. So love those. Um, other stuff, we stocked up on just a couple of milks. We use skimmed milk um, and yogurt. Yogurt is like a really, really great protein snack to have. So we get a couple of these skier yogurts. Steve absolutely loves these. But what I'm starting to do is I noticed that you can buy these little pots of um, like 20 gram protein yogurts. I can't remember what they're called. I think Arla do some. And to be honest, I just thought it's quite a rip off because you're kind of paying for the fact that it says protein on it. Whereas you can just buy plain quark. You get so much more in a pot. So it's less wasteful, less packaging. Um, and the macros on it are exactly the same pretty much. And then you can add your own flavouring, whether you want to add fresh fruit, honey, um, even I have those flav drop things from my protein, um, adding some of those in as well. I've got the butter biscuit ones and that and this tastes really, really good. Um, so that's one of my little tips is just get some cork because yeah, the macros on it are so good. So per 100 grams, there's 12 grams of protein. Um, so it's a pretty kind of low-cal good source of protein to have um, and again I kind of use it a lot to make sauces and stuff like that as well so quite often I like doing like creamy potatoes so I'll cook up some potatoes and just do it with a bit of like salt pepper and quark and I love that Steve not so much but I do all the cooking so my way or the highway um, yeah and what else have we got here Okay, um, trying to like move you around as I go. Eggs, got some more eggs. We both have eggs like most days. Um, so we love that. Bread, I absolutely love this one. I mentioned this, I think, actually I think it was when I was doing my what I eat in a day video. Um, we personally really like that kind of like seeded bread anyway, but it's a really good swap to make if you are trying to get more protein into your diet because obviously it's really high in fiber, loads of seeds, natural protein. So this is the one that we get. It's the fully loaded five seed loaf. Again, the macros on it are really, really good. Um, we also love the Warburton's, um, they're like bagel thins, like protein bagel thins, which are really kind of seeded as well. Those are great, but obviously you can't get them Aldi, which is a bit annoying. We got some pizzas. So these are pretty cheap ones. This is Steve's one, spicy meat, the not really my vibe. So I got the spinach and ricotta one. And 
I mean, I'm going to sound like a broken record. As pizzas go, the macros on this really aren't that bad at all. So this is one thing that I, I knew that whatever um, coach I went with or the reason that I wanted to track macros is because you have the ability to basically eat whatever you want as long as it fits into your macros. Obviously be mindful of the fact that you want to get in like vegetables, things like that. But if I want a pizza, I can have a pizza, um, that sort of thing, which leads me on to snacks. So we always get kind of either these ones, these are wackos, which I guess are a bit like club bars. Um, and they also do like a, um, like a Kit Kat dupe, which are really good as well. And they're just, that's one thing is I have such a sweet tooth. So being able to have a little kind of, um, snack like that is really good for me to just stay on track so i allow myself to have um little bits of chocolate here and there and you know i give myself like puddings things like that that personally i need if i wasn't allowing myself those little sweet treats i would just really struggle and just fall off track basically so for me i think that's really really important that it needs to be realistic it needs to be a lifestyle that you can maintain all these people trying to eat like less than a thousand calories a day that's not maintainable and in the end you're gonna fall off track you're gonna end up binging which is gonna be far worse for you so yeah i mean my calories at the moment are higher than they used to be when i used to track my calories so i much prefer the way i'm doing it now like yes i do have to eat a lot of protein but i also get to eat a lot of food as well which i'm happy about um, we also got some of these. This brand of chocolate, we absolutely love. Mosseroff. They do so many good ones. And then I also saw this. I've never tried this one before. It was at the checkout and I got suckered in. It's the Franconia No Sugar Added High Protein Lower Carb Chocolate. So this is white chocolate with hazelnut crisp. We're not really white chocolate people, but... The macros on this were really good. So for a serving, there's 6.8 grams of, of, oh my God, there's 6.8 grams of protein, 7.2 grams of carbs, and 7.2 of uh, fat. So as far as chocolate goes, that's pretty good. So we're gonna try that out and see what that's like. Got some more cashew nuts. Steve is obsessed with cashew nuts. He literally gets through like, a million of them in a week um we got more kind of strawberries and blueberries which to be fair we already have loads of those in the fridge so i don't know why we've got those steve loves his avocados um stocked up on some couscous um again with us i think we're just trying to make small changes to kind of help us ourselves out obviously we both like couscous anyway um it's a little bit easier to fit into your macros than rice um, and pasta and things like that. It's kind of like lower carb, higher protein. So that's what I mean is that it's not crash diet. We eat what we want, but we try and make smart kind of swaps as and where we can. I picked up some of these. I think I've had these before, but like not for a while. So I can't remember what they're like, um, but they're just little snack bars. Like I said, sometimes I just want like a, a nice kind of lower calorie kind of sweet snack um and these ones have eight grams of protein in them as well because they are roasted peanut and pumpkin seed bars these ones ma the macros aren't as good but still not too bad just for like a little treat and then i also got some of these as well which are similar to the fiber one brownies if you guys have ever had those um but they're by harvest morn so they're just again like there's 84 calories per brownie. I bet these brownies are gonna be tiny. Yeah, I mean like they're not big brownies, but again, sometimes that's all I need. Like it's just a little something to kind of cur cur curb my sweet tooth. I also picked up this at the checkout. So this is Kellogg's. They obviously do branded stuff sometimes, but I think this is stuff they just kind of get in and it doesn't always stay in stock, if that makes sense. So this is the all brand prebiotic OT clusters in almond and pumpkin seeds. So it says all this stuff like it's 
kind of like healthy gut, natural prebiotic, chicory root fiber, um, blah, 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 low sugar, all of that kind of spiel. But I thought on it, the macros are really good. So for a 45 gram serving, there's only 19 grams of carbs um, and there's 6.8 of protein. So I do tend to go for kind of like more kind of nut seed granola type things. And I have them with yogurt. Um, and obviously if you're going for more of like a pork yogurt, that's gonna be higher in protein. Um, but they, all of the ones I've tried have not been, the macros aren't as good as these. So if you see this, definitely worth giving it a try. I, I wanna try like a little mouthful now to see if it, cause it says bran and bran to me is like a cardboardy taste. That's quite nice actually. It's not really sweet like a lot of granolas, but it does taste a little bit like bran. But it's nice though, I really like that. Um, anyway, let me quick fire through some of these veggies. We tend to eat a lot of green vegetables. Um, so normally we get a lot of mushrooms. I'm gonna be honest, I've been really bad with like cooking veggies. I've just been feeling a bit run down, tired at the moment. I think it's just like time of the month issues. Um, and I've just been really lazy with my food prep, to be completely honest. But normally I try and bulk out my food as much as possible with vegetables. So I eat a lot of mushrooms, but we didn't get any mushrooms today because I haven't eaten the ones from last week. Um, and they're still fine, but yeah. So mushrooms is stuff that we get a lot. We got some stir fry mix. So we're gonna have a tofu stir fry because we've got some of that in the fridge. Um, Steve got himself a superfood salad. I personally prefer just like a, a little gem lettuce. So again, I'll have those. I'm um, just on the side. I never eat just like a plain salad. I'll always have it with a source of protein or a fat, something like that. Um, we've got some baby potatoes, baby sweet corn, uh, courgette, asparagus, long stem broccoli. We've got a couple of cucumbers because again, Steve loves having like salady bits on the side and he'll always bulk them up and add kind of like peppers and cucumbers. Got some leeks, um, frozen peas. Again, I like doing, when we have that breaded fish, um, that breaded basa, the frozen one I showed you guys, I like doing mushy peas, but a healthy version. So I cook up some peas and then I add in some of my cork um, and like a little bit of salt and pepper, blend it in my blender, and it makes like a healthy kind of mushy pea, which is high in protein. So we both really like having that as well. I think that's all the veggies. And then, oh my gosh. Right, we are all about the food and the snacks in this house. So Steve is, like a crisp fiend. That and pizza it are his two like weak, weak spots. So one reason we like to go to Aldi is because they do these which are so good and they're so affordable. Places like Tesco do these as well, but they're, they're really overpriced and they're like branded and whatever. So these are the lentil curls in sour cream and onion. We also, we also got them in the sweet chili flavor. I also got these, which are pea snacks. So they're kind of like little puff pea things um, in sour cream and chive. And they're all like baked, not fried. They're lower in calories. They're kind of higher in protein. So again, just making smart swaps like that. I also got these, which are like a kind of dupe of a pop chip. Um, the macros on these aren't as good as the kind of lentil and pea things, but really good little snack to have easy to grab obviously kind of curb any like crisp cravings you may have um yeah and that is that is pretty much everything there are a few little bits i just didn't include because they're like steve stuff hopefully that's just shown you guys a few different ideas or just kind of showing you that you can eat what you want and stay on track i'm not gonna lie i am so hungry right now right let me talk you through how I am getting on um, with like my health and fitness journey. So I 
started at the beginning of the year but was really like hit and miss on and off so i started losing weight since the beginning of the year um when i say losing weight i think there needs to be like a distinguish between losing weight and losing fat so this is one thing actually um i have these scales i got them on amazon because i will say this time and time again please 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 do not get hung up by the number on the scales just don't do it especially um women we kind of like obviously go through cycles where we hold a lot of water um we can just so easily gain and lose weight like that um without with it meaning absolutely nothing so i don't want you guys to and i personally try not to it can be hard sometimes not to get caught up with that number that is on the scale but the scales that i have got um, i got them on amazon and basically they track more than just your weight i'm not going to show you the app because it has all my stuff on it um but it tracks your weight your bmi your body fat take this all with a pinch of salt it's not completely accurate but obviously it gives you a better guide of um like how you're losing weight if that makes sense so obviously like a lot of people i had a couple of messages actually with people saying that they tried like getting back into weights and stuff like that and they actually gained weight for me that's really really normal because i feel like I find it harder to drop fat and then easier to gain muscle i feel like that's just my personal genetic makeup um and so i always found like when i start like lifting and like kind of getting back into the gym i feel like i always like gain a little bit of weight before i lose it which i always found so odd but it seems like a lot of you guys have found the same um but yeah it just goes to show that it's not all about what you weigh um so personally i'm wanting to lose fat gain muscle but obviously i will be losing weight but i specifically want to be losing fat if that makes sense and i said this before um i don't want to share with you guys how much i weigh my measurements all of that jazz because i i just personally think we should not be comparing ourselves against each other i don't see there being any benefit me telling you how much i weigh but i will tell you how much weight i've lost um just because i don't want i've had honestly so many messages from people saying please can you tell me your measurements i want to compare your measurements to mine and i just think it's such a negative mindset to have don't compare yourself to other people everyone's each doing their own thing you know focus on you don't compare yourself to others and just it's all about feeling happy healthy strong that's all that really matters not the measurements so but at the same time i get that you guys do want to kind of know what's going on so between the 30th of january this year up until now i have lost 4.35 kilograms um, my bmi has dropped 1.5 and my body fat has dropped 2.3 percent so that gives you a bit of guide as to the kind of rate that i'm losing weight um i'm not losing it very fast it, i haven't been completely consistent from the beginning of the year um but then i've only been doing this my kind of coaching um working with a coach for the last four weeks so let me see if i can see how much i've lost in the last four weeks so in the last four weeks i've lost a kilogram which isn't a lot if you convert that into pounds that's only about two pounds um so it's not a lot of weight um i'm not gonna lie there are times where i've stepped on the scale and i've been a bit like oh i would have thought i'd lost more weight um or i've kind of thought oh i feel like i look better and i feel better why am i why aren't i losing weight i think it's natural to have that mindset um but that's the thing if you feel like you look better and you feel better it doesn't matter so I'm not too bothered about that um i the ways that i measure myself is i do weigh myself so i obviously keep track of that i've been doing measurements so i have a weekly check-in with my coach and i measure the same areas each week and obviously send my measurements over so i have lost um, a bit measurement wise and photos photos are the most important thing because you can feel like 
you know you're a month in two months in feel like you've had no progress and then you'll look at the before and after photos and then you will see it so for me that's the most important way to kind of track your progress is through photos more than anything else i still don't want to share i basically said to you guys if i'm happy with this coaching i will share their details but i don't want to share something that i'm not 100 percent on um i don't want to recommend something to you guys that i don't think is 100 percent worth it so um let me do the eight weeks i'll check back in with you guys and let you know my honest opinion on it whether i thought it was worth the money i'll let you know how much i spent things like that um but right now i don't want to you know i'm i'm feeling good and i'm feeling healthy but i don't think i've seen dramatic changes but i don't know if i'm being impatient so let's hold off i have also just adjusted my calories ever so slightly um so maybe this is the time that i'll kind of see some bigger changes but let me do a bit of a i've never done this so i don't really know how i'm going to do it bit of a physique update um and show you guys Okay, so my camera decided to delete the footage of my physique update, so I had to refilm this bit. Um, but this is where I am today. So I'm dropping in these photos, which were from the 2nd of January, um, which is when I was trying to do the Gymshark 66, but really struggling to keep it on track. So I'm going to kind of put those in there as just like a little bit of a comparison. But overall, where I I've kind of seen the changes in myself is more around my stomach. I definitely feel a lot less bloated. I feel like my stomach's flattened out a lot. Like I said before, I don't feel like I've lost a lot of weight and I don't think my body's changed drastically or anything like that. But I think I'm just making small little changes as and when I can. Yeah, I don't really know. Like, what else do you guys want to know or see apart from my measurements and my weight? <laughs> Apart from that, is there anything else you guys would want to see? Um, I've also said before that I don't, I don't know if it's a good idea for me to share, obviously I did what I eat in a day, but I don't know if it's a good idea for me to share my exact calories and macros because like I've said before, they're very much designed for me. So everyone's different. They're probably not gonna work for you and I don't wanna put them out there and you guys think that it will work do you know what i mean um but yeah let me know if there's anything else you guys kind of want to see i want to be kind of transparent and open about my fitness journey um but only sharing information that i genuinely think will be helpful for you guys and like i've said like a million times but i keep on getting the, que the questions can you send me your measurements can you send your me your measurements and I'm sorry, like I just don't, I just, no, I don't think I will. So yeah, let me know if there's any other stuff that you guys wanna know or that you'll find helpful. Um, maybe I can show you some of the workouts that I've been doing. Um, yeah, just let me know. Um, because like I said, I wanna kind of share it with you guys and yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video. Until next time, I will see you guys later.